Zdaj pa, dami gospodje, se veselimo iz Bleda v Španijo, v bistvu bolj podrobno v Bastijo. Predavo nam bo gospod Fernando Sierra, ki je direktor podjetja Euskalit. Za tiste, ki ne veste, Euskalit v španjšem pomeni Bastija. Bastija je po številu prebivalcev in pa po velikosti približno podobna kot Slovenija, tako da najbolj, da kar začnemo in predajam besedo gospodu Fernando Sieri, ki se zelo ki bo prej kot in so remont predstavljal svoje. Pravi, ladies and gentlemen, senjor Fernando Sierra. Kaj, Fernando, kaj ne hevas? Years and we have been promoting the year 
for the bus oriented, you know, to, to do the assessments. And as you can see in this image. We, we lost the, your screen share. Uh, Show sure, that. We lost your screen share. We can see we can see the presentation. No. No. Mm, okay. I'm going to to try again. Okay, very good. No, it just went again. Let's try again. Okay, I'm going to go to try again. Models were seen as 
rigid checklist to focus on a scoring with complex assessment processes and some, sometimes model for specialists. I have remarked the same because uh, obviously the EFP model or other excellence models are not checklists, not at all. The problem is that sometimes the organizations use the models by checklists. And we saw the, uh, all of these things and, and we try to evolve to a new strategy. So, not only to have robust assessment process for the awards in order to, to help the organizations to do the, the diagnosis, the, uh, in order to identify the, the, the strengths and, and the risk for improvement, but to develop also a lighter assessment process. We call contrast. Mm. We developed the contrast service in 2008. Mm. Instead of the, the full assessment process for the works, and this is just a, a one morning a meeting. And two people and from the Chalil with the passion team of the company in order to do a consensus of the main strengths and the areas for improvement. And very successful as uh, you will see in the results. The second one were to develop a, a new framework. Mm? We develop our own advanced management model. The uh, roads because it was developed by 1,000 people, mm? help us to develop the model, and flexible also. Mm? Flexible because uh, it was necessary to be agile in order to produce or change things that uh, are important for the bus companies in order to, mm, to look at, at the mirror of, of the model. Mm. We launched the first in 2014 and we reviewed the model in 2018. And the, the, the new framework is free, you can download it from the website. It's easy to understand and, and as I as said, it's a mirror, and we have put a lot of effort in order to show the organizations that the correct use of the model is to use it as a mirror. Let's focus on the type scoring. We don't mind if a company score, scores uh, 405 or 410 or 15. So sometimes these kind of debates are not the most important thing. And, and other examples, for example, to introduce innovation was one of the key points in the model, one of the elements. Right? Strategy, customers, people, society, innovation and results. It's easy to understand, it's a simple model, but it's very, very useful. And the third uh, element in, in the new strategy were to improve the assessment group. And the, the culture of assessment is very important for the improvement of the companies, uh, but it was necessary to have lighter, lighter processes. So we re, re engineered all the assessment process with light submission documentation, using daily business documentation, not just entry for an assessment. And, and another example of this uh, light. Uh, version is the, the online assessment option. And in 2020, in Spain, we have been locked down three months and from March to June. So, uh, in, in March, we changed all our assessment process in order to, to do it online. So, we are almost maintaining all the assessments and uh, online. And we are going to the so, sometimes uh, when you are one of the leaders, when you are performing very well, it's necessary to do some changes in order to grow again and to maintain uh, those nice positions. You can see here, I uh, hope you, you see well uh, the slide. Yeah, we see it. Thank you. Okay, okay. This, uh, this is uh, uh, all our uh, history in the, the assessment process for the awards. And we started in 1998 with five assessments. The peak was in 2006 with 51. As you can see in the, in the left, 
Almost 60% of the assessments were educational centers applying for the awards, and it was fine. But, as I said, industry is very important for us. In 2014, we changed to the investment process, the advanced assessment model, and things changed. We had less assessments, but it's not bad for all, not, not bad at all for us, but the, the percentage of industry uh, are higher. And if you see and uh, compare it with the contrast, we, we have now both schemes. Mm -hmm. In 2008, we launched the contrast, the light assessment process, uh, with 59 organizations, uh, still uh, the, more, the, the higher percentage in education, but as you can see, from 2014 to, to now, uh, we, we have boosted uh, the number of organizations, uh, more than 400 contracts uh, last year, um, apart from 27 assessments uh, for, for awards. So, uh, our strategy to, to try to help uh, a, a higher number of organizations in order to be uh, assessed and defy service and improvement and uh, it's, it's, it's really good uh, from our point of view. How it's possible to do this uh, with a uh, staff of 17 people, one seven, and uh, we're a quite small organization. Because of uh, our assessment club, we are really uh, fortunate uh, to have 1,700 assessors. 51% uh, of them are women, 49% uh, are men. 20% uh, of them are the CEOs of the companies, and as you can see on uh, the right, different sectors, uh, education services, industry, health, or public administration. They help us uh, in order to do the assessments of other organizations, contrast or assessment awards. And uh, as you can imagine, um, this is very, very important for us uh, in order to spread all the message. They are very good uh, because they are not only able to do assessment using the advanced management model, but any framework. For example, we provide them the opportunity to do assessments with other companies according, for example, with the five first and uh, methodology, the Toyota and productivity methodology, or the quality innovation award, and uh, we are very active in the innovation field. Also, or other frameworks. So, they go about management, not about any, any specific model, so they can help us uh, in order to do this kind of assessments. And the past government uh, is uh, organizing uh, and, and giving their support uh, during the, the World Gala, uh, the massive the World Gala that is very well recognized in the past country. So, is uh, uh, we offer all those activities to all the sectors, but I'm going to highlight a couple of examples about what are we doing in healthcare associate services. Uh, uh, I would say that in, in, in healthcare, I do, uh, well, I make the same than in all sectors. Mm -hmm. Why? Because one of the key points in our activity is to, to try uh, to well, to give the opportunity you know, the organizations to share to other sectors, okay? So not, not only healthcare uh, learning from other healthcare organizations, but to learn from automotive or from neuronautics or from education. And, and this is very, very uh, interesting and hopeful way of learning um, more than your own sector. And the, the healthcare public body in the past country, Sosakidesa, the public healthcare service, more than 26,000 people, 18 big centers, and primary care and specialized, and hospitals integrated, big, big organizations, and several of them with more than 5,000 professionals. And I, I would highlight the the activities that we do with them. The first thing is, is to it's necessary to point out that the past public uh, service is they are members of the 
can import since the beginning of our activity. So the sensibility about the importance of the advanced management and have been always there. The second, uh, they have a, a very huge number of qualified people in terms of advanced, uh, well, advanced management. 262 uh, professionals, many of them head uh, of managers. Uh, so you can imagine uh, how important it is to have uh, so huge number of people uh, with very aligned uh, in the message of the importance of the advanced management. We organize community of practices with them and we have group with 15, the 18 centers. Euskalit mm -hmm. uh, helps them to identify the topics of interest and we help them in order to share good practices or to look good practices outside the health sector. Mm -hmm. Our role is, is quite important uh, because uh, we, we, we are seen as neutral. We are not a public body. So um, the confidence uh, of the centers in order to, uh, to, to share the good practices, if you study this there, uh, is pretty high. And the, and the last activity is the, the assessments. And as I said, the culture of assessment is very, very, very important in, in the in the health sector in the past country. Uh, almost all the, the centers uh, have done contrast, so the, the light assessment, and, and not only one year, uh, but uh, from time to time, there are centers that every year do a light contrast in order to monitor how they how are they advanced. And assessments, many of them uh, apply also for the recognition of the past government. And this is another important point eh, because when they are receiving the recognitions, they are receiving the, the, the same recognitions that the test of top feet are now fit for pipes in the past country. So it's a way to show that the public health sector is able to have such an advanced management level. The last part of my presentation is another example of how we are supporting uh, social services. Mm -hmm. uh, Vizcaya uh, is, is one of the, the one of the third provincial provincial governments in the Basque Country, and uh, it's a public uh, body, of course. And uh, we were asked uh, them to develop a four years program to improve the management of a network of 30 associations for disabled and poor people. And they finance their, the centers and they finance the program also. Mm -hmm. uh, social services in the past country they have achieved a huge uh, economic support in the past year. It's very important uh, social services. And uh, the, 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 the provincial government asked us to develop a program where it was possible five steps. The first one is the sensibilization. Uh, so sensibilize uh, the social services uh, why it's necessary to improve the management. They are very good, and they are very professionals, caring people, they are very um, they have very good knowledge about the, the right methodologies, but uh, the management of their centers uh, is, is, is quite complex. Uh, and in, in the last years, the size, the complexity, the, the stakeholders' needs, the budgets of those organizations have increased a lot. So it was necessary to, to help them in order to professionalize uh, the way of managing. The second one is uh, to help them to do an adaptation of the model. As I said, uh, we promote uh, the advanced management model, but the most important thing is not uh, just the model. So uh, we, we had the feeling that it was important for them to have uh, an, an adaptation of the model. So we created a group with uh, people of, of the sector in order to adapt uh, the terms, the culture, the style, and to, to offer them the feeling that they, they have their own model aligned with the 
social transmise and model in order to allow to benchmarking and recognition of opportunities, but not the feeling that this is our model. And we, we understand very well of the terms and the words and, and how the model is trying to, to do to help us. The third step is training of, of, of their teams. And uh, it's absolutely necessary to, to train the, the, the people who give management responsibility in the organizations in order to be able and to do the, the fourth step um, assessment. Mm -hmm. uh, it's necessary for the organization to do their own uh, assessment. So uh, this is not just what somebody outside the company is going to come and uh, to, to do and uh, uh, consult up and to identify. But no, no, this is part of our business. So self-assessment is very important, and we collaborate also offer them an external assessment also in order to help them to, to balance and areas for improvement and to, to do a consensus of the most important things. And as you can see in the, in the right, uh, it's, it's just a, an image. Uh, this, this kind of service uh, allow us uh, to have a profile of each organization uh, according to a strategy, customers, people, society, innovation and results. How advanced are each of the organization and how advanced is the sector as a whole. That, that was very important for the public body mm, uh, financing the program also. Mm. Why? Because mm, the, the, the fifth step, in order to support specific programs, it was necessary to see very clearly where uh, there are the, the, the key, the key points uh, in order to maintain the good one and in order to, uh, to develop, not only for one specific sector, but sometimes for the, the, the sector of the whole. So, as you can see, um, doing a, a conclusion of my presentation, mm, I would highlight the uh, importance to, to, use, to use a model, any model. Mm, um, I have a very good relationship with uh, with EFPM, Luca Mules, and is a good friend, and is going to speak after uh, myself. Uh, I have to I have to congratulate the EFPM because of the of the new change of the model. Mm -hmm. I think that the new model I was in Helsinki mm -hmm. attending to the presentation of the model, and I have been interviewed by the EFPM uh, according to give them some inputs about our experience and to the new model. And, and I think it's, it's a great uh, evolution of the model, and I, I wish you uh, all the all the best in, in the future. Well, second um, is to have a right and flexible assessment processes. Assessment is very important, yeah? and in any country, to have a culture of assessment is pretty good. But it's necessary, from our point of view, have like and flexible processes. Organizations have very few time in order to do this kind of, of processes. And if they are very robust but very uh, time demanding, it's very difficult to involve them in this kind of activities. The third one uh, is all the same, to give value to organizations. If the effort that they are doing is uh, higher than the benefit, and they are not going to, to involve this kind of processes. The fourth conclusion is that the power of network. It's necessary to work in networks. We are very happy, very lucky to have an social club with a so huge amount of people. But any kind of network, it's necessary to do as for activities, especially when we are small organizations. The fifth element is the, the public and private cooperation. Try to, to improve uh, the, the competitiveness of the organizations in a country. It's, it's not uh, something that you can do only as a private organization. It's necessary to do the public and private cooperation. And the Basque country is, is 
frankly speaking, it is a very good example how it's possible to do during more than 25 years eh, a very good collaboration way. And the last one is lead with example. And lead with example is something that is important in, in any company to manage eh, and, and to give the example to, to all the people that are working, but it's important for our organizations also. And I, I have to say that uh, we were very lucky in 2005 and when we were recognized at the European Quality Award as prize winner. And well, as uh, this is a never ending story, last year we applied for the advancement and recognition in the Basque Country and we were uh, recognized in the, in the highest recognition, the goal recognition. And, uh, we are very happy, but uh, this is a very good example for the, the company that we are offering our services, that we practice what we preach uh, to walk the job. And uh, I'm very happy and proud uh, to show uh, that uh, the results uh, are possible also in small organizations that we are. So, um, uh, if you have uh, any questions, I would be pleased to answer now or during the round table. So, thank you for your attention.